G'day everyone and welcome to the September 2024 edition of Australian Model Railway News. We're going to go through all the news announcements and updates that have happened in the Australian Model Railway manufacturing industry. And don't forget to stay through to the end so you can find out about all the currently announced exhibitions, open days and conventions happening into the future. Australian Model Railway News is made possible by our sponsors. Elevate your model railway or architectural projects with trackside models, where quality meets precision. The Australian-made laser-cut structures are precisely crafted, ensuring every detail is captured flawlessly. At Trackside Models, their mission is to bring you top-notch buildings in scale format at prices that won't break the bank, and they're proud to offer Australian-made and designed models. It's their way of celebrating the beauty of Australian architecture and supporting local talent. Experience a difference with Trackside Models, where quality, affordability and Australian craftsmanship converge. Explore their collection today and bring your miniature world to life like never before. And don't forget, you can get 10% off all orders using the code WILLJAMESRAILWAYS at checkout. Buck and Bull Model Trains is the home of DCC in Australia. Retailing a wide range of budget and premium DCC decoders, as well as a wide range of accessories for N and HO scales. Buck and Bull stocks Zimo, ESU and Lace DCC, as well as Sprog DCC programmers and very soon DCC EX command stations designed here in Australia. Buck and Bull offers installation services in N and 009 scale as well as others, with many different installation options available, but please contact them directly for more information. Buck and Bull also carries a wide range of DCC and DCC sound pre-fitted gopher model locomotives. And in addition to this, they will be the exclusive retailer of the factory sound fitted N scale 38 class locomotives due to arrive in September. And currently you can select which 38 you would like. All you need to do is put your email in and be notified when the stock arrives. And the news is also made possible by the Scale Modeler Supply. Take a look at their vast array of high quality paints and accessories meticulously crafted to bring your model projects to life. And enjoy 10% off all orders with code WILLJAMESRAILWAY at checkout. And lastly, the news is also made possible by the Patreons on Patreon. And if you'd like to gain early access to videos on this channel while supporting their production, head over to patreon.com slash WILLJAMESRAILWAYS now. Now, obviously this news is a little bit different as I'm not appearing in it, and that's because we're currently moving house. But I assure you I'll be back next month. Now let's get into this month's news with some exciting news from Gopher and Buck and Bull Models, who have announced their ready to run N-Scale 30 A-Class locomotives are now on the way, having been loaded onto a container ship bound for Sydney. The estimated docking is set for the end of this month with an expected delivery within the first two weeks of October, pending customs and of course unpacking. They've said that interest in these models has been overwhelming, with many people registering on their website. So if you haven't yet, make sure you register your interest to avoid missing out, which all the details of which are on Buck and Bull's website. All the retail stores should receive their DC models by mid-October, with the Buck and Bull sound-fitted versions available at the same time. And with that, Gopher Models added that the South Australian Railways Red Hens will follow very soon with the New South Wales Railways 900 class Deb Rail motor set, both of which can be ordered through their website. Trackside Models will be releasing a new HO scale kit available in October, which is a New South Wales A5 station. This is a laser cut kit with easy assembly and is based on the actual New South Wales Railways plans. And they'll be priced at $79.95 and they'll be available directly from their website or from their stockists. Russell and Foundry have a new wagon in their 7 8th range, the Greg Plantation Wagons, loosely based on products of the same name. Variations include flat, open truck, tank kit and flat trucks, being described as a pleasant, short and versatile truck. These flat trucks have sockets and bolsters, and the kit contains a wagon body, axle boxes, handbrake handle and shaft, link and pin couplers as shown and dumb buffers and is priced at $50 per kit plus postage. With that, work is progressing on a 16mm scale version of their Snail Beach Hopper. Haskell models are going to be offering their Victorian Railways Owen 30 NBH coaches as kits, although so far they only have two versions. Bright Red, also known as the Spartan Paints Red, as per early preservation, and the Red with Yellow Stripe, and eventually the Crimson Lake versions. The kits are being sold for $200 for a pack of two, instead of the other introduction price of $250 for two. And these are all direct sales with shipping to Australia included. 
and he will start to deliver small numbers of built up ones of the same versions. This kit comes fully decorated and only needs basic hobby tools. Glue, small Phillips head screwdriver, tweezers and clippers, and a hobby knife. And if you are after this or any of their other products like the NAs, you can contact them directly via email. Linden's trains have new U-Van kits in the HO scale of the one of the kind U961 which has been released and features a one-piece resin 3D printed body plus decals and detail parts and retails at $35 and requires a separate purchase of a Steam Era Models 15-foot U-Van underframe. Six Coupled Engineering is a new name in Australian model railway gear. A lineup of ready-to-place hand-painted accessories, components for builders and modders and an impending range of high-quality N-scale rolling stock kits. Trainwell Brighton is the exclusive dealer for this product line and they'll be available both in-store and on their website. At initial launch of the 50 product lines across N, TT, HO, OO, S and O scales is growing steadily, including pre-painted items such as popular car trailers, Victorian fire hydrants and telecom pillar boxes. In final development, a brand new 3D printed kits of the SCT, PBGY and PBSY box vans in N scale. These will include fine details like separate handbrake wheels and air hoses and will be packaged in twin packs with decals requiring glue, paint, bogies and couplers to complete. Further N-scale projects are also underway for freight and passenger car kits. Trainworld have released their ready-to-run Victorian Railways Y-Class. Five different models are now available directly from Trainworld in both DC and DCC, with the DCC model being factory fitted with sound. And many thanks to Kieran from Victorian Steam for sending in this footage. And if you are keen to see a standalone review on this locomotive release, you can head over to his channel as he has made one. Also, Y108 featuring this video was weathered by AWS, whose details I'll also have linked in the description. Head designs have new freight loads available. These are to suit Ascision wagons, either the NDCH, the NQJX, the NHYH or the VHQFs, the VHQFs and the QHBHs. All of these come in packs of four. Depending on the type, they all come with different load profiles or all uniform. And you do have the option to have them come with the spoil added or without. And all the options for these are outlined on their Facebook page. As well as that, they also have S-Truck Sawn Timber Loads, priced at $5 per kit, or if you want them painted and glued together, they're $15. News from Trainer Rama, who have painted samples of the New South Wales Railways HO Scale 42 class rerun. Now retooled and updated with directional working rear end number two marker lights, and production will start on these once they've been checked over. This sample is decorated in the traditional Indian red with chrome yellow lining, and the New South Wales Government Railways color scheme. The limited production rerun will feature a choice of loco cab and side numbers, 4201 and 4206 painted in these traditional colours. And model 4201 will also be available in the 1980s green and gold liveries, both with and without the signage of 125 years of the New South Wales Government Railways. And these models will also be available in DC, but they are DCC and sound ready. And if you are interested in pre-ordering one of these, you can email them directly. Control it now have HOM and HON 3.5 gauge printed circuit board sleepers. Control it PCB sleepers are designed to hold the rails in place when crossing baseboard joints, lift up or lift out sections, turntables, traverses, storage cassettes, or anywhere that requires reliable track alignment, wherever there is track separation. HOM gauge track is used in Australia to model the narrow gauge lines of Queensland, South Australia, Tasmania and Western Australia, where trains run on 3 foot 6 inch gauge track. HOM track is also used to model the railways that are 3 foot 6 inch or metre gauge in countries like New Zealand and Switzerland. Individual solder points on the rail sleepers represent sleeper plates as used on the prototype and the rails are electrically isolated and the top finish applied to the boards restricts solder to the sleeper plate areas resulting in a neat and durable track joint. HOM and HO 3.5 gauge PCB sleepers are available in packs of 1 pair, 10 pairs or 20 pairs. To find out more or how to order these head over to the Controllit website. 
In front models have released Flexi Van Pony Wheels and Stand Kits, and these will be available exclusively at Australian Modeler. Although at the time of recording this, they are currently sold out. However, they have said that there are more on the way. So please check out the Australian Modeler website for these and a large majority of products mentioned in the news. 3D Cast have launched their website with N and HO scale detailing parts now available. They've also launched the Victorian Railways IA four wheel open wagon. This N scale kit is easy to assemble for the beginner modeler, but extra detail parts can be added for the more advanced modeler for that extra realism. These are 3D printed in their own special blend of resin that has been developed for model railway uses. The kit includes five wagons, 12 brass etched shunter steps, and six different white numbers, and IA coated water slide decals, designed as one per piece for easy installation. The kit does require couplers and wheels, and is priced at $150 for a pack of five. They have added that they recommend using the following paints from the Scale Modeler Supply. And of course, you can get 10% off all Scale Modeler Supply products over on their website with my code. Kazula Hobbies have announced a BLH Bogey Limestone Hoppers, which are now available on their website for pre-order. As well as that, we also got a look at the tooled sample at the recent Goulburn Model Railway exhibition of the New South Wales CX and HCX carriages. All of these are now available for pre-order on Kizula's website, over the phone, or in-store. IDR models have now released their Queensland Railways SX and SXV Suburban Coaches. The SX coaches are sold in 5-car or 2-car add-ons to make a full set of 7. And they are available in 12mm or 16.5mm bogies, so just be aware of that when ordering. The price for a 5-pack is $795, and a 2-car pack is $320 with a flat postage rate of $15 and are available directly from IDR and a large amount of model railway shops. Ascision has expanded its growing range of Australian N-Scale products with the release of their second N-Scale locomotive, the New South Wales Railways 80 class, available in seven liveries with two locomotive numbers per livery. This limited edition run offers both standard DC and DCC sound models with only 50 units of each version produced. So if you're looking to add one of these highly detailed models to your collection, they're available to purchase online through Ascision Models and Australian Modeler. In addition to these locomotives, Ascision have also added a range of 80 class spare parts to their spares section, including bogies, drive shafts, driver figures, knuckle couplers, speakers, and motors, making it easier than ever to maintain or customize your models. So the 80 class locomotive in N scale is a very impressive piece. So the 80 class locomotive features a smooth running five pole skew wound motor with twin brass flywheels. And it features all wheel drive electrical pickup, ensuring reliability and smooth performance on any layout. One of the key features of this model is the incredible attention to detail, no different to its HO scale counterpart. It includes etched brass components such as windscreen wipers, side mirrors, and see-through roof fans and grill. The model also features knuckle couplers, metal wire hand grab irons, highly detailed bogies with factory fitted parts. The interior is just as detailed with a fully painted cab and driver figures. The under chassis piping and scale size air hoses add to the overall realism, while the plastic body and black and metal disc wheels ensure durability and precision. The model's lighting system are fully functional, with operating LED headlights, number box lights, and red and white marker lights. And it's also sound ready, equipped with a speaker in the fuel tank and a PCB with a Next 18 DCC socket for easy conversion to digital. For those who are sound enthusiasts, the DCC version comes fully fitted with an ESU Lock Sound 5 micro decoder, offering prototypical sounds from the iconic Alco engine sounds to the Nathan P5 air horns, dynamic brake, and traction motor sounds and it's nice, loud, and clear. Additional sound effects like brake squealing, coupler release, and handbrake application further enhance its realism. With its combination of precision detail, performance, and, and limited availability, with that they are priced at $295 for a DC locomotive or $425 for a DCC sound-fitted locomotive. Ascision have officially announced the Victorian Railways N-Class locomotive rerun with DCC sound. They've said that their factory has commenced production of their N-Class rerun and is expected to arrive in early 2025. These models have been upgraded to include operating number boxes, DCC friendly power pickups, 21 pin decoder socket on the PCB, two new body versions available for the V-Line PTV liveries, and the option of factory fitted DCC sound with an ESU lock sound V5 decoder and Ascision Vandersound speakers. Pre-orders are now open. 
and they do advise to lock in your order to avoid missing out. They are only producing 50 of each model in this production run, with pre-orders ending on the 31st of December this year. With that, they said that there will also be a rerun of the N passenger cars, with all new V-Line PTV livery also coming in 2025, although no pre-order forms at this point. At the Goulburn exhibition at the beginning of the month, they also had a small sign on their table with updates to their releases, stating that the XPTs would arrive a week after the exhibition, NHHF and NGHFs are on the water, the MGFHs will be arriving in September, the CLP, CLF and NPHHs will be arriving in November, and the Debs in December. With that, the V-Sets, Harris and Overland cars have now been pushed to 2025. Although, at the time of recording this, the XPTs have not yet arrived. Via a post on their website at the beginning of the month, SDS gave us a quick update on a few of their upcoming projects. The Queensland Railway's 1460 and 1502 class locomotives with DCC sound have arrived and are being mailed out. Along with that, the BEZY and QQAY container wagons have arrived and are being mailed out to customers. The Queensland Railway 1620 models are in production and they've now received samples of the Queensland Railways and Malaysian locomotives. The DCC sound models of the 81 class locomotives are complete and they will be shipped alongside some other projects in September. The rerun of the OCY containers has commenced and are expected in early 2025 as well as a rerun of these 20-foot containers. They've also received their first FG carriage type sample, and they'll have decorated models later this year. We've also been sent some footage of the New South Wales pneumatic discharge cement hoppers, which will be arriving in late October or early November, which we will see 15 packs of four of these hoppers that cover them from their inception and the railways through to present day. And they're priced at $300 for a pack, and are still available for pre-order on SDS's website. As well as that, we've now been sent some photos of the Victorian Railways K-Classes. SDS have said that the much anticipated locomotive production is nearing completion. And here we have photos of painted samples of four of the preserved Ks. And SDS did mention that the color on these models is lighter than the actual paintwork. And SDS added that customers with outstanding orders with Eureka models, that these will be supplied from them directly. And in my own news, we're currently in the middle of moving house. So my web store will be taken down until after the Bayswater sale day happening here in the first weekend in November. Now onto all the currently announced exhibitions, conventions and open days happening for the remainder of 2024 and 2025. On October 19th and 20th in Victoria, the Sunbury Model Railway Club will be holding their annual exhibition. On the 3rd to the 6th of October, the British Railway Modellers of Australia will be holding their annual convention in Melbourne with tickets available now. The Sydney N-Scale Model Railway Club will be holding an open day on Saturday the 19th of October at their club rooms. In Sydney on October 19th, the O-Scale Modellers Forum will be with tickets available now. In Slacks Creek, Queensland on Sunday the 27th of October, the Logan and District Model Railway Club will be holding an open day. On the 2nd of November in Bayswater, Melbourne, there will be a sale day happening at the Bayswater Scout Hall. Epping Model Railway Club will be holding an open day on Saturday the 9th of November at their club rooms in Epping, New South Wales. On Saturday the 9th of November in the ACT, the ACT Model Railway Society will be having a bring and buy sale. On Sunday the 10th of November in Melbourne, the VMRS will be running the Prototype Modellers Forum with registration open now. On November 10th, the Railway Modellers of Queensland will be having an open day and buy and sell day. The New England Convention will be held on the 16th and 17th of November at the Armadale Bowling Club in New South Wales. There will be a model railway and hobby show in Salisbury, South Australia on the 30th of November and the 1st of December. On the 1st of December in Melbourne, Fremo Night Australia will be holding a public meetup and run day at the AMRA Club Rooms in Melbourne. Epping Model Railway Club in Sydney will be holding a Model Railway Market Day on the 30th of November. In Queensland, there will be a train and hobby exhibition on the 7th and 8th of December in Brendale. The Epping Model Railway Club will be holding an open day at their club rooms in Epping, New South Wales on the 11th of January. In Victoria, the Warrnambool Model Railway Club will be holding their annual exhibition on the 11th and 12th of January. On the 18th and 19th of January, there will be a model train show at the Cow Senior Citizen Centre on Phillip Island, Victoria. In Victoria on the 25th and 26th of January, the 50th Corio Model Railway Exhibition will be held. In store Victoria, there'll be a model train show happening on the 15th and 16th of February. Over the March Labor Day long weekend in Victoria, the Model Railway Craft and Hobby Exhibition will be happening in Kyneton. 
On the 15th and 16th of March, the Sandown Train and Hobby Show will be held. In Victoria on May 17th and 18th, the Latrobe Valley Model Railway Association will hold their exhibition in Morwell. The Albury Model Railway Show will be held on the 17th and 18th of May in New South Wales. The Hills Model Railway Society will be holding their exhibition on May 30th and June 1st at a new venue in Clarendon. The 2025 Adelaide Model Railway Show will be back on again over the June long weekend. In Victoria on the 12th and 13th of July, the Storm Model Railway Exhibition will be back on again. The Epping Model Railway Club will be holding an open day on the 12th of July in Epping, New South Wales. In Sydney, the North Shore Railway Modellers will be holding their exhibition on the 19th and 20th of July in DY. On October 4th and 5th, the Shepparton Model Railway Exhibition will be happening in Shepparton, Victoria. A not to be missed event is the Great Train Show, now happening on October 25th and 26th at the Rose Hill Racecourse in Sydney. Now, as always, if you are in a model railway club and you have an event coming up, please reach out and I'll more than happily add it to the news. Now, on to the winners of last month's giveaway. But before we do that, I just once again want to say a huge thank you to OnTrack Models for giving us the opportunity to give away two of these brand new 82 class locomotives, which are both DCC and sound fitted. Now, of course, if you are interested in getting one or four of these, they are still very much available at the OnTrack Models website and at many model railway retailers. So a huge congratulations to David and Philip who have both won an 82 class each. They have been reached out to and notified that they have won. But once again, thank you all so much for entering. There was quite a lot of entries. It was over 500 of you. And uh, well, thank you to everyone who watches the news. And of course, thank you to OnTrack Models. Now this month's giveaway are some N-Scale containers from Vision N-Scale. And if you are interested in winning one of these containers, head over to my website where there is an online competition form and uh, you just fill that one out. There'll be a question just to make sure you've been paying attention and uh, the winner will be announced next month. Once again, a huge thanks to Mark Jesser, Vision N Scale, for providing these for this month's giveaway. If you are interested in any of his products, head over to his website. So there we go. That's all for news announcements and updates for September 2024. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to the channel's sponsors. Thank you to OnTrack Models and Vision N Scale, and we will see you all very soon. Hooroo!